Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to repair, update, uninstall or reinstall EA and teach it. Now for this, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. If you have the game on EA app, click on manage, then click on view properties and then open folder. Go to the game installation folder, open the installer folder, EA and teach it, make a double click. Click on yes to allow. Now click on this drop down option and find skate game. If you don't find skate game over here, in my case, I don't have it. If you don't find it, in that case, you can go to EA website. The link is provided in the video description. Scroll down here, you can see EA Javelin Antitude Installer. And then you can run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And then now click on this drop down option, find the game. Here you can see the game. And then click on repair, go to the game installation folder and select the game folder. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, it's in C drive. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder and then select the game folder and then click on select folder and let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then update. Make sure SCADE is selected over here and then click on update. And once the update is complete, now you can launch the game once again and then check. Still not working. In that case, click on uninstall over here. Make sure SCADE is selected over here. Click on uninstall. Again, now click on install. And once the install is done, now you can launch the game. Still not working. Uninstall once again. Do not install this time. Close this and then you can launch the game. And during the launch, it will install EA anti cheat. So click on yes to allow. And once installed, it sh you should be able to launch the game. Still, you are not able to launch the game. Next step is to, if you have the game on Steam, try launching the game from EA app or Epic Games Launcher. So if you have the game on Steam, if you, if you face problem over here, in that case, you can install EA app. You can go to uh, install. You can go to Google, type in EA app, install it from the website. Log in and then you can search the game uh, in the store and then you can install it and then you can try to launch the game from EA app. or you can even install from Epic Games Launcher. You can download it from the Epic Games Launcher and then you can check. check. Similarly, if you have the game on EA app or uh, Epic Games Launcher, you can try launching the game from Steam. So try to change the platform and then check. Still not working. The next step is to make changes in exploit protection for the game exe file only now for this you can type in exploit protection in windows search box and then click on exploit protection click on program settings over here click on add a program to customize use ex exact file path go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open once you uh, click on open you will see this pop up everything will be unchecked like this so you can put a check over here if this is on turn it off again if this is on turn it off off again put a check over here turn it off turn it off and these things may be on over here so when you put a check on override system settings make sure this is off set to off for all the options in my case i have already turned it off turn off everything Put a check on override, turn it off. Everything, once everything is off, now hit apply. And then click on yes to allow. Now you can launch the game. In future, if you want to go to default, you can always remove exe from the program settings and that will go to default. Now, still not working. The next step is to rename the skate folder in this location. So go, uh, now before you rename it, let me inform you, all the saved settings and saved game files will be lost. Uh, so, Create a backup first and then you can rename the folder. So you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, open users, the username, app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items, open app data folder, local folder. So over here you will find the skate folder, copy this folder. You can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can make a right click rename it once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to 
disable these so if you have daemon tools running may correct in the start menu and then go to task manager and if you find daemon tools over here make a right click and then you can click on end task now go to device manager make a right click go to device manager and then if you find daemon tools under storage controller or universal bus controller make a right click and disable in my case i have already disabled it now if you have any other uh, you can uninstall if that is not work you can uninstall daemon tool you can reinstall it whenever you want up once you're done playing the game if you have this REWASD, close it. DS4 Windows, close it. Auto Hotkey, close it. Razor Synapse. So if you have these kind of uh, Razor software, Corsair, ICU, face it, anti cheat, any kind of anti cheat program, Riot, Vanguard over here, and uh, if running, close it. Or you can even uh, you can uh, close it from the Task Manager. So make a right click on the Start menu and then go to Task Manager. If you have these application running, you can find it in the list and then end the task and also disable it from the device manager. So if you find these applications somewhere in the device manager, make a right click and disable it. If you find XB, DD, SC, SI mini port, if you find it in the device manager, make a right click and then disable it. Corsair bus in device manager, disable it. You can even uninstall these application and then restart a computer and then launch, if you launch the game. If you have any third party application like VLC, codec, wallpaper, engine, MSI, apps running, close it and the services from the task manager and then you can even uninstall it perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure you put a check over here first and then click on disable all and then hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart it immediately if you have these applications like separate application crypto pro punk buster Uninstall it and you can delete the folder from the program files of program file 686. If you are good by DPI app running, close it here or you can uninstall it. If you're running, if you have this drop top rain meters uh, application running, close it and the task in task manager. If you have any third party mouse and keyboard application like Corsair mouse and keyboard application like ICUE software, you can close it. 3x software running close it game companion if you have this game companion running then close it if you have this menu.exe in task manager from scan then close it uh, if you have wipe port or wipes vr software running close it you can even uninstall these application and then restart it computer and then launch the game next step is to uh, when you launch the game press alt plus tab to switch to browser so you can launch the game go back to the browser just use alt plus tab to switch between the app and the browser and then just wait for the game to uh, launch this may work it worked for me the next step is to steam users make sure steam account is linked to your ea account so you can go to the ea website log in to ea website now once you're logged in you can go to connected accounts and over here you will see steam make sure steam is linked over here and then you can launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx2 in the launch option now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game and then go to properties and in the launch option type in dash dx11 launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then for ea app users you can click on manage view properties in the launch advanced launch option type in dash dx11 and then save it launch the game still not working type in dash dx12 save it launch the game still not working remove this save it follow the next step now the next step is to next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus format so if you have any third party antivirus like vast not on bit different or mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to uh, privacy and security, then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage your ransomware protection, click on it. Click on allow an app through control for to access, click on yes to allow. Click on add in allowed app, browse the apps, go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Again click on add an allowed app, browse all apps and this time select this one, open. 
again add an allowed app browse all apps and then open this installer folder ea and teach it select this and then launch the game do the same thing with all the 3xc file in your antivirus program run the game from the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder and then make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work you can make a right click go to properties go to this tab run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then check when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok scroll up over here you will find this ea anti-cheat game service launcher make a right click click on run as administrator and then check still not working the next step is to now run ea app update so if you have the game on ea app, uh, you can just um, close ea app exit ea app and then type in ea app in windows search box make a right click on ea app and then go to open file location here you can see ea updater make a right click run as administrator click on yes to allow and let the update complete so if there is any update uh, you will see over here and it will just try to uh, update it so let the process complete this may take a couple of seconds uh, or maybe a minute so once done you can try to here you can see download success rate staging is in progress now once done you can try to la launch ea app and then check it will close automatically once that is done if that does not work run e app recovery make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then click on clear cache option now click on clear cache over here and then this will relaunch e app and then check if that does not work repair e app to repair e app uh, you can just download this e app the exe file uh, you can search in Google e app, go to the EA website and then click on download the e app, click on Windows and then you can run this exe file. When you run this exe file, do not install, uh, do not launch the app, just click on repair over here. Click on yes to allow and once the repair is done, now you can check. If that does not work, install DirectX. For this, you can go to Microsoft website click on download the link is provided in the video description run this exe file click on yes to allow now click on accept over here click on next uncheck install wing bar click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart the computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on find, and then install the latest graphic card driver. On this page, you will see GeForce Game Ready Driver. Whichever is the latest, click on view, and then click on download. Once the download is complete, run the exe file, and then click on yes to allow, click on OK, and then click on agree and continue. Set a custom option, click on next, and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Click on next after the clean installation is done restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to install visual c file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 install both the files so click on it and then you can run the exe file click on it if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once both are installed then restart it in and after the system restart, we can check.
still not working unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it, disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. If you're using VPN, turn it off. If you're not using, if, like if the VPN is already off, turn it on and then check. Disable overlay, disable or enable the overlay. So you can go to Steam, make a racket in the game, go to properties. If enable Steam overlay while in game, if this is off, turn it on and then check. If that does not work, you can even turn this off and then launch the game. If you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off overlay. Do not overclock. You can set the overclocking to default, close all the overclocking application like MSI after Bundler, Reaver Tuner, and then check. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, uh, you can just uninstall the game after you uninstall the game. Go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch this game successfully on a Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.